welcome back to the channel everybody today we're gonna be doing another reaction video this is my third one that I'm doing so today's video is going to be another healthy junk food video <coughs> it's gonna be a different video obviously which is something special. We are doing this video today. We are going to attempt to make Pringles. We got a lot of inspiration watching Claire. Pause that real quick. All right, guys. Put put your I mean, put your eyes into the video. Let's enjoy it. Guys, comment what's your favorite flavor? Am I missing the best one? The only good one is pizza. And welcome back to the test kitchen. Today we are going to attempt to make Pringles. We got a lot of inspiration watching Claire from Bon Appetit. And of course our good friend Corinne from Threadbanger. Seriously though, they did such a good job. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up on every account that you have. JP's giving me that push. He said he wants to make a real big tube. And that the chips need to go inside. Wow. This is not just a video of you eating the chips, you know that, right? You have to make something. Test kitchen experiment number one. We're making potato dough. It's the test kitchen. We don't know what we're doing. Figuring it out together. Potato flour. Yes, it's a thing. We found it on the internet. It's from uh, Ohio. I can't stop. Potato flour. I wrote potato. <laughs> Starch, salt, and water. H2O, wet stuff. Let's go for 20 milliliters of salt. Actually, we do want to make a lot of dough, don't we? Are we going to fill a whole giant tube of Pringles? Yeah. Tell me about flavor. I don't want the, the first batch not to work, so we should do a small batch first, and then we can double it up. Okay. Oh. Is it spilling? Because that's a bad idea. It works out because I spilled a lot of it. Do it behind the shoulder for good luck. Great. There's a lot of calories in this. I'm at half a cup potato flour. I think I'm going to need like a tablespoon of potato starch. Let's just do half a teaspoon of salt. We don't want to add too much water. Four. Let's just do five. Whoa. It's crazy how this is smelling just like a potato. A couple more tablespoons here. Six. Seven. It's really thickening up a lot. We're going to need some more. You can see it's still pretty dry. Eight, nine. I don't think I did this right. It looks like a ball sack. I know what I'm missing. I forgot vegetable oil. It's a ball. Glad I went for a chip and took a look. Oh, oh, it's already better. Oh. Make tortillas, tacos. Today, we're attempting a Pringle. There will also be an Amazon associate link to this in the description. All right, so let's see what happens here. Hopefully this ball size makes sense. Starchy. Ow. All of your weight. Oh, uh, I don't know. Oh, uh. That's kind of impressive though. Look at that. Did we just make it with this? Is that a taco? Or is that a Pringle? I don't know. We have to shape this like a Pringle. We can't just toss it into a deep fryer. So what do we do? What do we do, Claire? I think I need to make a mold, and it has to be a mold that I'm able to put into the fryer, so I have to make it from metal. She cut the strainer to make the Pringle. Claire, I get it, Bon Appetit, they have all these sifters, but this sifter holds sentimental value to me. I gave you the sifter as a birthday present. It's okay if you cut it up. I'm not gonna cut it up. Mesh, same thing. Got on Amazon Prime, link in the description. These are cake boards, six inches in diameter. Also on Amazon Prime, link in the description. So basically we gotta cut this to the size so it could fit into the can. The can is six inches in diameter. You can't make your potato larger than that dimension. It's simple, simple math, guys. You ate like five already and never offered me one. <laughs> what about offering me one? You already put the top back on. <laughs> What's the height on that? A quarter. Quarter of an inch. 
diameter is 6. So we multiply 6 times 0.8. We divide 6 by 2.5 ratio. 0.8, that's the multiplier. 0.75, and there it is. These are our dimensions. All right, guys, this is going to take a while. JP's got a lot of cutting to do. Let's start the time lapse. And there it is. This will help you now, Jules. Specimen number one, the Pringle chip. Hello. Clear it out. It's 57 grams. Um, we're gonna put this in our little... Contraption, place it on top. We're ready to deep fry. Test subject number one, going in the fryer. Dude, if this works with the tortilla press, we don't need this pasta thing. You wanna see it? Let's see if it needs more time. It's done. It's gonna come off, it's gonna pop right out. I think it's stuck. Oh my God. Oh my God, no, no. No! Stop. No! Everything was going so well! Why? It only makes sense. Things were going too well. Everything was going perfect. We're gonna figure this out. I wasn't supposed to do that. This was supposed to be easy. This is seemingly more difficult than we thought. Here goes nothing. Maybe we should have used the mess strainer. We can't have this one fail. Oh, oh yeah. I can't tell if it's done or not. Does it look like it's getting the color? It came right off. It's stuck in the foil. <laughs> well, we know this. The mesh doesn't stick. Is it coming out? It's just stuck to the oh, foil. It's, stuck. it's a good try. More like a Pringle? I don't know. All right, going in for trial number five. Dude, it's totally working now. I think it's stuck to this one too, JP. No, it just stuck to the top one. You just ruined another strainer. It's gorgeous. The color, the texture, the salt, the shape. This is a giant Pringle. It fits. It's perfect. You can put a stack. Perfect fit. All you gotta do is recreate that a bunch more times. Put it in a cylinder. Stick it in a tube. Our tubes are not going to be tied today, guys. <laughs> and welcome to Awesome Crafts Tom with JP. Do you need help? I'll hold it down while you try to so for the Pringles can, I started out with this rigid white poster board, but soon discovered it was too rigid. Plan B. So I went with three layers of thin red poster board instead. Uh, uh. As you can see, I used a six inch cake board as my base to wrap the poster board around and then secured it with an acrylic adhesive. Or you could use duct tape. The cake board was a bit more difficult considering I was born with very short arms. Hang on, kid. Let me just... Dig in there and see what's wrong. <laughs> yep, I found it. You're like a transformer. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> For the next step, we have to cut our tube to the correct height. So I measured the can, crunched some numbers, and came up with 18 inches. I should have cut this in a previous step, but I didn't know. You're very focused. For aesthetics, I wanted to create that foil rim on the top and bottom of the can. After several layers of duct tape, I felt like I did a good rim job. So there's no logo online, so I'm gonna have to destroy this can. Perfect. Now we're just gonna take a photo of that. Nine inches. That's the circumference. Okay. If the diameter is three, you multiply that by pi. You're like a mad scientist. So six times 3.14, 18 inch height. All right, we got our measurements. Let's go back to the Photoshop. Alright guys, my extremely expensive printer doesn't work anymore. So we're going to Office Depot 
to get this printed. I think what we need is just that cleaning fluid for the printer. And I'm gonna clean. you gotta clean it. Oh, this is perfect. This is exactly where we need to be. So what we do is you go to print, you go to poster, and it does all six like that. So all we gotta do is hit print and boom, it'll work. Printer doesn't work. That's because printers are overpriced. You always run out of ink and then they get clogged. But you know what does work? Office Max. Thank you, Matthew. Now we put the labels on. Time lapse starts now. gosh yes all right the can's done it's late i'm going to bed see you tomorrow good night all right guys we need a lid and now we're at walmart healthy chocolate food i'll be watching y'all all the time come with us we need help finding this thing is it gonna fit no oh no <laughs> it does it fit that that fits it fits Let's see if we can find transparent. If we can't, we that's our option right there. No. It's a baby hat. What? You it's found it? It's 28 bucks. Oh, it's, is that blue? Oh, it's not. Oh, it's blue. Right here. That's red. No. This one's clear. What is that stuff? I don't know. Dude, we found it. Put it on. It's perfect. Oh my god, you got snaps on it. Now we just need this pop plate. Yep. Can you make that? Yeah. We gotta make a lot of chips that are gonna go inside this thing, JP. Are you up for it? Yeah. I don't know if you are. You don't always have to go original. I like them cheddar cheese flavored. I got it from the mac and cheese box. And we're done. Now we have to fill that container. It fits. It fits. All the way to the bottom. on the shelf. Who's buying? It's a hundred million dollars plus tax. How's it going, Bob Pringle? <laughs> yeah, wow. Thank you all for coming along on our journey making giant Pringles. We had a great time and no one got sick. What should we oversize next? It's up to you to decide. You want a Pringle? Sure. Really? You want a giant one? Is it really giant? All right, guys, comment right now. What is your favorite Pringle? Did I buy all of them? Am I missing your favorite one? No. The only good one is pizza. That was so bad. Uh, if you broke all of those chips, I I was going to eat those. Sorry. Okay. We're going to end this video today as a good note. Remember, comment below of what Pringles you like. Also, make sure to subscribe, like, comment below, like I said, and I'll give you, a, and also, I'll give you a shout out. See you guys later. Bye.